Okay, let's try to get an Arduino Portenta going with a Helium console and showing some of our raw data so that we can figure out what the heck we're doing. Um, I've got my LoRa antenna here, just held together with some headphones. There's my Portenta, and it's uh, blinking. It's just getting set up. Here's a GitHub site. It'll probably be in the video link. Helium data node receives N for the Arduino Portenta. I'm just going to try to visualize or see some of the data going to the Helium. Now, in Helium, I'm not doing a ton. I'm on integrations. I'm on my integration. And all we're going to do is get this endpoint URL. So let's do this. Uh, page down a little bit. There's Git pod. So we are going to, ooh, it opened up in the same window, whatever. Uh, Git pod, by the way, likes its own windows. So typically I do a new window, but this is fine. And it's creating a Git pod. There it goes. Might be a little slower on your one. Uh, what's important here is that make public. You must make it public. Yes, we do want to open the browser, but it's more important that we make it public. So I'm going to do that. Uh, the reason it has to be public is the Helium integration has to um, be able to see it. Now, what we're running is the index.js. And right here, just because I'm showing you the stuff, I'm going to set this to true simply because, and then I'm going to save it simply because uh, it then hides some data. It doesn't make this demonstration as, as good as it could be, but it, it hides some um, data from my device. Okay, a bunch of code here. Uh, not really the point of this to go through the code. It's just uh, data showing so that if you can't connect, um, uh, you kind of know why. Um, now, this thing that says Remote Explorer shows that it is open, but now we want to get to the browser. So you got to mouse over the little globe there. And there we go. It opens up the browser and it's saying, Hello World. Um, eventually, we'll get some data there. But this is super important the URL for the browser part, not the GitHub, uh, GitPod one, the browser one, because we've got to go into Helium. In integrations, I'm in the integration that's hooked up to my Portenta. And where it says endpoint, I must paste that. And I have to update it and check up here the integration worked. OK, that's super important. Um, now, my Portenta here is still flashing green, orangey. That means it's trying to connect. Um, and I can't predict how long, how fast this will take. Um, and, and that's one of the problems uh, in Helium when you're connecting different devices to different integrations with different functions is not knowing when things are working. Um, I'll show you my flows. This is all I've got is my Portenta device and the integration and the integration we were just into. Um, so I do have multi-packets hooked up, but I might not be close enough to a bunch of things to get multi-packets. So this thing does refresh every 20 minutes, uh, 20 seconds, sorry. Um, and basically, we're waiting for a join. I'm inside the room. Um, yeah, let's just wait it out. I'm going to pause for a bit. Um, so what I do when I'm waiting is I go to my devices. And I scroll down. you got to click on the screen and scroll down. And I open up this debug window. And that helps you know when the device has got information on the Helium console. I'm going to pause again. OK, so we can see this. It's got a different color, so it's connecting. Um, one thing, if you did shut this down, uh, I had to save this to true, so there, control S. Uh, how you run it, um, to shut it down, it's control C. And then to start it again, it's node, and it's just called index.js, so space index. I always just type a few things, and then, ooh, that's interesting, uh, JS, there we go. So it's running again. If I refresh this. I'm just going to do it a slightly different way. Um, open it up again. There we go. It says, hello world. OK, now, reminder, 
uh, things connecting to helium, sometimes they can take a few seconds. Sometimes they can take a while, and I've got mine connecting every um, 30 seconds. Uh, if yours is connecting every hour, then this actual connection thing might be a little bit strange. Uh, anyway, this is refreshing every 20 seconds. I think the page is refreshing. So I'm just going to pause. Okay, so remember I changed that to true. You should just leave it as false so you can see all the data. And there we go. So it's blanking out a bunch of stuff because Helium's uh, got a bunch of stuff you don't want to share. Um, when you do this, each hotspot, so this is hotspot array 0, has a channel frequency and an ID, a latitude, longitude, and a name. It will also have a link right here so you could see the helium coverage map of where that hotspot is. If there are multiple hotspots, you'll have a link to all of them. Uh, kind of cool right here, took me a while to build, is the Google Maps, which uh, right now it has no data, so it gives nothing, but if you had multiple hotspots and you click Google Maps, it'll come up with uh, circles for each hotspot. I couldn't figure out how to get the um, uh, power of the radio frequency there. Um, but um, 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 it shows you kind of where all these hotspots are. So you get a sense of where your device is, a little bit of a sense of it. Um, Notice I'm showing my payload and the payload encoder converted. This is base 64. Uh, the reason nothing showing up, and there it just refreshed. The reason nothing showing up is this is for a uh, MQTT um, server, even though I'm, I'm doing over, over HTTP, so none of it's making sense. If I had just uh, words and numbers there, it would probably decode here. Anyway, it looks like it's getting it's not getting multiple hotspots yet. It would be nice to be able to show you no multiple hotspots. If you run this yourself, you'll have a couple of extra. These links will make a little bit more sense. Um, there's a couple more things down there. Um, payload size is only four bytes. And this is what's coming off the Helium con uh, console with your integration. And it's just for me, since I'm working with a Portenta, nice to see what's going on and what information am I getting. Uh, and, and that's all I wanted to show you. Um, on the Helium console, you do, uh, you click on integration. On um, here, the main thing to do is to be able to go into the Remote Explorer. Oops, somehow I should shrink that down. Make sure it says public. If it doesn't, click that. It's weird how it looks locked now, but that means I, to lock it, you would click that. And then to open up the browser. In the browser, super important to copy that. Put it in the Helium console integration uh, uplink area. And that's about it. See what data you get. Um, as I said, it's pretty weird connecting to Helium. Sometimes it's pretty fast. Uh, this time I had to leave it. It's been fast all day. And then I had to leave it for a couple minutes just to um, connect. I will be posting code for uh, the Portenta eventually. But at the moment when I downlink, when I send from here to it, uh, it's going into some panic loop. So I have some software to update. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, follow my um, uh, YouTube channel and have a good day.